Well, hello, blog watchers. Steve Petrusky here with the Lander team. So glad that you stopped by today to watch this quick video. Today's topic is going to be the things that you want to look for when viewing a home. Before we start discussing that topic, I want to remind you of a couple buttons here on our blog. If you're looking to start the process of purchasing a home, click this button here. If you're looking to possibly sell your home or see what it might be worth on the open market, click this button here. And so what I want to do is I want to talk quickly about four important things uh, that you should look for when you're viewing a home or walking through a home with an agent. The first one is going to be looking for all the different wear and tear that's happening within a home. Check out the carpets, check out the paint, check out the cabinets, making sure all the cabinet doors are working. You want to really look at some of the wear and tear that's happening to see what it might cost you to replace some of those items. Now you might love the layout, but you might not like the amount of work that's going to be put into trying to get it up to your quality that you want for living. Now the next thing you want to also look for is water leaks. We know that water leaks happen and typically you're going to find water leaks under sinks. So it's very important that you take some time to look under each sink turn on the water, make sure there isn't any leaks. You can definitely tell underneath any of the sinks, whether it's in the kitchen or in the bathroom, if there's been water leaks. So I'd encourage you to do, to do that. Also, looking for water leaks, you want to look on the ceiling within each of the rooms of the house. Sometimes if there's a leak in the roof, uh, that leak will pour right down into the drywall that's located on the ceiling and you can kind of start to see uh, water uh, outlines on there. They, sometimes they turn yellow, uh, sometimes they just make the drywall uh, and the paint bubble a little bit so you want to watch out for that. The other couple things that you want to look for when viewing a home is you want to explore uh, the age of the roof uh, and you also want to explore the age of the AC and heat heating units that are located on the house. Uh, sometimes if you have an older home sometimes those can be the original units and if you're looking at putting on a new roof or installing a new HVAC system, those can be very pricey when purchasing a home. Now, the last thing that I would say uh, is make sure that you get your hands on everything. You want to turn on every light switch, you want to turn on every sink, you want to open every cabinet door. You don't want to not touch anything in that house because you want to make sure that you have looked at everything that could possibly go wrong. And realistically, I would highly encourage and something that we highly encourage all of our clients who are looking to purchase a home is to get a home inspection. They run about $350 depending on what company you use, but it's $350. It's well worth your money because if something does come up and you didn't do a home inspection, who knows how much money you could be out after you purchase this home. So I would encourage you uh, to get a home inspection. Well, again, I appreciate you stopping by to watch this quick blog. Thank you so much for your support of the Lander team. And we look forward to helping you this year, whether it's purchasing a home or whether it's selling your home uh, this year on the market. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.